Hello everyone, we will now see how to create a 3D map overlay for your DJI drones videos. This works for most of the Mavics, Phantoms, Inspires and some more. We will be using Google Earth Pro and some of the tools that you can find in the video description. So let's launch the first one, which is the SRT viewer. This will read your SRT flight logs, so make sure you enable the video caption option in your DJI app. If your drone does not generate this file, you might have to extract the subtitles. Use the subtitle extractor for that. But that's not my case. This tool will allow you to visualize the data and export it to multiple formats like After Effects or KML. You can use the smoothness slider to correct small errors, which are common in some of the drones. And the file format we're interested in is the GPX. Once that's done, let's go to Google Earth and import the file. Make sure you enable all file extensions in order to see the GPX file. When importing, disable the Adapt Altitude to Ground Height option so that our path is drawn in the air in 3D. Google Earth will now show you the path. And I like to disable all the information layers except for 3D buildings and terrain. Terrain is pretty interesting because it gives volume to the landscape and 3D buildings are not available everywhere but they can look great too. Next, let's tweak the path to make it stand out. We can change its color, the color and size of the arrow, and the thickness and opacity of the path. And when we select the track, we can play it back to see the default behavior. Use the bottom slider to control the playback. Now let's go to the Tools menu to tweak the tour options. Make sure you set the speed to 1 so that the overlay can be synchronized with the video footage. Increase the quality. And let's try to use a more vertical camera angle and a wider range. And now we can play it back again. So I'm happy with this perspective. Let's now right click on the track and generate a tour. This will enable the record button. So let's play back the track again. And importantly, wait for it to rewind to press record. You can detect the right moment to record by looking at the top slider or at the camera movement. But if you don't nail it, don't worry. You can fix synchronization issues later. This will be quite long, so let's fast forward. And I like to double press on the track or the GPS device at the end to get a general view. At this point we can stop the recording and save it with a name. Close the tour, go to Tools and use the Movie Maker. There I suggest you set the quality to maximum, choose your desired resolution and frame rate. I will use Full HD to be able to show this full screen and 25p to create a PAL project. Pick a destination, folder and name. I will save this as MPEG4 and make sure you are recording from the tour you just created. Press Create Movie and wait for the long process to finish. We are now done with Google Earth. Go to your favorite video editor to merge the footage with the map overlay. I will be using Adobe Premiere, but almost any other video editor will do. Some examples are DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Sony Vegas, and things like that. We will import both files and create a sequence based on the video footage. We will now drop the map overlay on top and look for some corner in the path to check for synchronization. This looks like a good spot. And we're pretty close. So I will offset the map maybe a couple of seconds.
And it looks great now. So let's rescale and reposition the overlay. And we're ready to render. I will spare you the wait and this is the final result. I went ahead and enhanced this video with additional telemetry overlays. You can check out my tutorial on how to do this in After Effects. You'll have access to metrics like speed, course direction, altitude, distance and camera settings. I've got very similar tools available for GoPro footage, so check that if you've got a GoPro and I'm working on tools that will allow you to do this with any camera, so stay tuned for that. And that's pretty much it. Let me know if you've got doubts, suggestions or would like to see how to do something in particular. I'm always happy to help, so thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.